after that, I started practice uh, full speed today, uh, full court and everything. I uh, just have to make sure I'm ice, and then uh, Ernest will be monitoring it. And it's, uh, it'll be today's my actual official day on full speed. You excited? Yeah, I'm ready. I hate sitting out. So, can you expect the time you plan on being on court? Uh, hopefully, I mean, hopefully this weekend. I mean, we've been doing a lot of individual workouts with uh, Coach Monarch and uh, Coach Benford. And, uh, <clears throat> and, of course, with Ernest and everything, uh, doing a lot of rehab uh, a few times a day. And so uh, today, um, today I'm pretty excited. So, How does it uh, compare? I mean, obviously you haven't had the surgery on that knee that you did on the other one, and it's two right. separate injuries. But, I mean, how, does, how do the two injuries compare? Um, this one is uh, actually, I mean, it's, it's a little bit more severe, but I'll, I already knew what I was getting myself into when I had the surgery in 06. Um, you know, they said uh, within a few years, I'd probably have to get another scope. And if I continue to keep playing on it the way that, that I have been, and they were expecting probably about three or four scopes before this time now, and I've, I haven't had any. So, you know, uh, it really hasn't given me any problems um, like we thought it was, and it's, it's really just been in the back of my mind. So um, comparing it to the other knee, I mean, it's, uh, to me, it's just 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 a small little bump in the road. Just have to get over. Junior, you got your first start in CWM the other night. How would you say you did? Well, I said I did okay. You know, I try to do everything simple. Try to get the team involved like all the time. So then try to do nothing that I, I normally don't do. I said I did okay. Would uh, do, do you have a different mindset going into something like that, where you're actually, where you're not coming off the bench? I mean, you're. You're in there from the start. You got to set the tone early. How do you, you know, how do you approach it as a starter versus coming off the bench? I look at it as like when I come off the bench, uh, you know, I, I have to keep on lifting the team and not bring them down. And I look at it if I start, I have to start the engine. And then if I, uh, you know, it's like when I start, um, it's, it's different than coming off the bench. But you know, it doesn't really matter if I come off the bench or start. You know, I just got to play 100. percent you had a couple days to kind of look over the film and everything from that game and get ready for the, the, the one upcoming. What's what's been the focus for you guys this week after the UWM game? What would you say? Uh, I say rebounding and uh, uh, just rebound. We've we've been focusing on on, uh, on rebounding. We didn't really take up space. You know, UWM, I think, our rebound was by 13. And uh, yeah, that was our focus. Rebounding has been emphasized according to everybody so far. Um, what is it about the inability so far to be able to get rebounds as a team? Uh, I think that when it comes to rebounding, you just have to want to get them. Uh, Buzz emphasizes um, taking the space all the time. And I think that if we just be tough enough to go get the rebound, then we'll do a better job at it. Um, that's pretty much it. that ball watching as opposed to reacting and going Get it. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's a lot of ball watching you do because you know you think that we're gonna get it, you know. But when it comes down to you, have to go back to the basics, taking up space, and make sure your guy doesn't get it. He will get it. So. so that's what we'll be seeing on Saturday. A lot of, a lot of from everybody. That's, that's what we're working on in practice every day. That's what he emphasizes. So, I so, guess the difference in mentality. Uh, you can't just let down because it's a long one and not a Duke or a Gonzaga. And just as a player, how you fight that? Yeah, yeah um, I, I know you're talking about um, coming to every game, you have to like, have the same mindset, of course, that you're not that you're just going to play hard every game and not let down because it's a uh, long way and play hard because it's Duke or um, Gonzaga. What you want to do is give it your all every single game. And like, the toughest teams are the ones who play like themselves every team, no matter what team they're facing. So. Here to be one of the uh, Texas natives who will still be around when TCU joins the Big East in a few years. Um, I know Fort Worth is a pretty long way from Houston, but uh, you know, if you guys have a chance to go down there and play, is that kind of exciting for you? Yeah, that's, that is exciting that a team from the Big East gets uh, a team from Texas joins the Big East because it gives me an opportunity to go home, uh, maybe you know, see my family, and just a good opportunity.